Hi everybody, Matt back with you. Today I'm back in Halifax uh, and I've returned to uh, one of my early lockdown explores uh, which is Rawson's Mill or Old Lane Mill or Canal Side Works, whatever you want to call it, um, an abandoned mill uh, in Booth down in Halifax. I've just started the walk towards it, I'm not sure if you can see it just yet, but it's a huge abandoned building. Um, there's not a lot to see inside it, a lot of it is the same, but it does have a great history. Uh, so let's see if we can find it. Uh, so we can find it, it almost immediately jumps out at you uh, as you get through these trees. Here it is. So this mill was built between 1825 and 1828 and is, as you can see, a multi-storey mill and it was steam powered. There's apparently not uh, many of these left. This is often regarded as the best example of a surviving steam powered mill. Um, now it's frequently <laughs> inhabited, I've been here often. Uh, by kids, but I'm here at half past eight in the morning, so I'm hoping uh, we get this place to ourselves. Okay, so coming on the other side, you can see that there is a another building, we have a chimney. It does look like it uh, might still be open, which is great. Okay. So when I said there was a spooky start to this, that's because, as you can tell, it's pitch black on the first floor. However, thanks to Tom, I now have a rather fabulous light. So, as I said, we're on the ground floor. Normally this would look like uh, this. Okay. <laughs> Yes, we have a light, and we can see. So most of this I've never seen before. Certainly what might have been a wheel shape just there, isn't there? Okay. So I'm not sure quite how many decades this building has been abandoned. It certainly looked like this in the 90s still. Uh, I think this was the engine room. In fact, you've got some stairs just leading to nowhere. You can certainly really imagine that this was a huge wheel, can't you? I imagine that's what it was anyway. Let's head over to the other side and then start heading up. That's the way up. There's a bit more to see just around here. So this would have been the bathroom, you can tell by the tiles that were on the wall. And just some slight remains of some systems there. Nobody's using that way, are they? You get some nice surprises. Look at that, that's fantastic. Okay. Let's 
So I think So apparently this place was actually up for auction recently. Uh, about two years ago, they were trying to sell it for three million. Uh, it's actually come down to about 100,000 now. As you can probably tell, it would take millions to put this into anything at all. Certainly, most likely apartments, but I also think it's a listed building, so you probably can't do much with it. Right. the stairs. Um, we don't stay here. Well, uh, so as I'm on my own today, I don't think I'll go down there today. Uh, I'll just go around the corner. Oh, well, let's crack on upstairs. So I think there's about seven floors all together. So each floor we come to has a little room like this. So, like I said, there's not much left to actually see. Um, I think it's just the scale of it. And obviously finding things like this spooky. From here we'll probably see the first room, the engine room. Yeah. So I probably won't show every single floor. Because, as I say, it's very similar on each floor. If there's any really good graffiti, I'll show you that. Um, highlights from the top. Right, time to put a lift in. Okay, so we're almost at the top. This is officially the full last top floor. But, as you can see, there's yet another floor here. Uh, <laughs> some steps have disintegrated, but I'll head up in a second. Get a very good view of Halifax. Okay. This is jump. Maybe not. So I'm not sure if I've already said it in this video. Um, I act like I haven't been here before to make the video a bit more interesting. I've been here quite a lot. <laughs> Please be careful if you do come and visit. The only way these places stay up is if you act safely when you arrive here. Um, you know, there's a term, isn't there? Don't be a dick. Simple as that. So because we are on the top, you probably see after decades of weather erosion, um floor here is disappearing. However, I think I do have to show you this. Hold on to your hats. So 
I don't know if this place is going to be sold, auctioned off in a few days. Maybe somebody will pick it up for 100,000, who knows? Uh, but as it's listed, I don't think they'll be able to do a lot with it. Uh, so I'm going to head back down. It's got a bit of the engine room to show you, you haven't seen yet. Uh, and then show you what's outside. So this floor, I don't know we're on third or fourth floor, this is the one that brings you to the top of the engine room. Keep thinking there's somebody here with me. It's just pictures. Crumbling stairs. Okay, back on the ground floor. And there we go. One last look. This is one high building. So I'm not sure what this building would have been. It's just next to it. Okay, there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed my little explore of Old Lane Mill or Rawson's Mill, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm incredibly dusty and stinky now. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to head off to the next place. We'll see you soon. Take care.